Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Biomes of Plenty in Minecraft 1.14.4. We're going to go through every single step of setting up Biomes of Plenty, even how to generate a world with these biomes in it. It's all going to be covered in this video. But before we get on into it, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below, thebreakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want an incredible Minecraft server for you and your friends, again, Apex is the best place to go. The breakdown.xyz slash Apex, first link down below. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get Biomes of Plenty installed. The first thing you need to do to get Biomes of Plenty is go to the second link down below, which is actually going to be Biomes of Plenty. And uh, yeah, it's going to take you here. Now, once you're here on the right-hand sidebar, scroll down until you see Minecraft 1.14 under Recent Files. And then as you can see, Biomes of Plenty 1.14.4. Awesome. Click on that and it will go ahead and take us off to the download page here where we want to click on the download button right here. Once you click on that, it will start the download after five seconds and it will download in the bottom left on Google Chrome. If it's on Mozilla Firefox, it's popped up in the center of your screen. On Google Chrome, as long as it starts with Biomes of Plenty and ends in .jar, you're good to keep the file. On Mozilla Firefox, you're going to save the file in your center of your screen as long as it starts with Biomes of Plenty and again, ends in .jar. Now, we're not done just yet. We still need to download Forge. So if you go to the third link down below, it's going to take you here, which is our in-depth tutorial on downloading and installing Forge and Minecraft 1.14. Dot four. It goes through everything. Um, the 114.4 video just came out. I'm not updated it here yet, but it will be there when you come to this link. Nonetheless, we scroll down here and click on the Download Forge button. It will take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to make sure this is for 114.4. As you can see, by default, it isn't. So we need to click on the top left up here, where it says 1.14, and then click on 1.14.4 there. It will then go ahead and open up Forge for MC 1.14.4. And as long as it says MC 1.14.4 here, we can go ahead and click on Installer under Download latest. It will then go ahead and download Minecraft 1.14.4Forge in the bottom left. As you can see, it starts with Forge and ends with .jar, so we can keep this file. It's 100% safe. On Mozilla Firefox, same thing. Save the file on the same of your screen. If it starts with Forge, and ends with .jar. Now we can minimize our browser in here on our desktop. I have Biomes of Plenty, and I have Forge. If these aren't your desktop, no worries. They're in your Downloads folder. Click the little Windows icon, the top left for me, bottom left for you, that little Windows icon in the bottom left. Click on that, and then type in Downloads, right like so. Here you'll have your Downloads folder. Once you click on that, you'll find Bombs of Plenty and Forge in your Downloads folder. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, we can go ahead and start by installing Forge. Right-click on Forge, click on Open With, and then you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if you don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Well, no worries. We have a solution for you. Go to the description down below and download Java. As you can see, how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. So once you download Java here, you should have Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if it still doesn't work? Or what if it isn't there at all and you have like books as your Java files. Well, no worries, you need to run the jar fix. So as you can see, this has helped 130,000 people repair the jar files on their computer and it basically links the jar files to Forge, or sorry, to Java, so you can run things like Forge, Minecraft mods, etc. This tutorial walks you through how to do all that. Now we can finally right click on Forge, click on Open With, and then click on Java TM Platform SE Binary. Then we then open up our Forge installer here where you wanna click on Install Client and click OK. And then go through, download, set up, and install Forge on your computer. As long as you've ran and played Minecraft 1.14.4 before, this will go off without any issues. However, if it doesn't work, if it fails, then you need to go play Minecraft 1.14.4 vanilla with no mods installed, and then you'll be good to go. Once you do see successfully install Client Profile Forge, you can go ahead and click OK. Now we need to install Biomes of Plenty. To do this, go ahead and click on the Windows icon on the top left for me, bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon there. Click on that and then go ahead and type in Run, R-U-N. Then you'll have this Run application here. Once you click on that, you'll have this like search box. And there'll be nothing in there. Or if there is, delete it and type percent, A-P-P-D-A-T-A -A percent, percent app data percent, exactly like that, and then click OK. It'll then open up our roaming folder here where we want to go into dot Minecraft. And then in here, you should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder though, no worries. Just go ahead and right click, create a new folder, and title that folder mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Then go ahead and open up your newly created mods folder. Or if you already had one, go ahead and open that one up. And then take Biomes of Plenty and drag it to your desk, or not for, to your desktop, from your desktop into your mods folder. Once Biomes of Plenty is into your mods folder, we can go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. Now, 
Don't go with slamming that play button in the Minecraft launcher just yet. What you want to do is click the little arrow next to the Minecraft play button there, right next to that play button. Click on that, and then in here should have a Forge profile. If you do, click on it and click play. But if you don't, we need to set one up. So click on the Installations tab right up here at the top of the Minecraft launcher. Once you're in the Installation tab here, go ahead and click on New. See, plus and then New there. Click on that, and then you can name this whatever you want. So you can name it whatever. So I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is the I IP address of our Minecraft server with grief protected survival. We have two survival servers, one with a slash shop based economy, one with a player based economy, and 20 quests. Also, we have a Skyblock server that is completely custom with over 100 players online every single day on Skyblock, over 150 players online on our survival servers, and that means we have 350 players online peak every day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now we can go ahead and change our resolution to 1080p, and our version is actually going to be changed. So you click on the version drop down box here and click on release 1.14.4-forge there. As you can see, click on that and then click create. Now you want to find the profile you created and then just click on that green play button next to that profile. It's going to go ahead and open up and Biomes of Plenty will be installed. But if you just open up an existing world with Biomes of Plenty, it won't work. Unfortunately, you'll have the Biomes of Plenty stuff there if you go into creative, but it won't load new biomes. It's kind of kind of difficult. So what you want to do is create a new world with Biomes of Plenty and it's very, very easy to do that. Let's go ahead and let Mojang load things on up here. And then as soon as we do that, we'll be able to go ahead and click on single player there. And then we can create a new world. I'm gonna name this Biomes O Plenty, right like so. And then game mode, I'm gonna change creative just because that's what I want. And then we can go into more world options here. This is where things get different. So click on more world options and then world type, we wanna change to Biomes O Plenty. As you can see, Biomes O Plenty right there. Now we can go ahead and click Create World. As long as the world type is Biomes O Plenty, it will generate our biome or our world with Biomes O Plenty biomes inside of it. It's gonna take a little longer to generate this world than a normal Minecraft world. That's because it's generating those modded biomes. But nevertheless, it will be done very, very soon. And after a quick jump cut, I will see you in game. There we go, we have now loaded in. And if we hit F3, we'll be able to see what biome we are in. Right over here, and as you can see, we are in a Biomes O Plenty Chaparral biome. It's actually very hard to say that, but this is uh, not a Minecraft biome, as you can see, a default biome. But if we fly around, I'm sure we'll be able to find some more biomes of plenty biomes. Even this is a biomes of plenty grassland. It's got a different texture than the normal grassland would have. I don't think there's really any denying that biomes of plenty is installed, but if we go into creative here, we can click over and see all of the biomes of plenty items here. All of them from the blue, the blue magic planks, all the way to the pink leaves and the decoranda trees, probably said that wrong, to the origin saplings. It's all here and it is all set up. If you want the seed of this world, there it is. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Come play with us at play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Again, grief protected survival, custom skyblock. You'll absolutely love it. But nevertheless, my name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'm out. Peace.